Hey, it is Hurricane Tony here, and I have a couple product reviews I want to give you guys on some new stuff that we have available. Um, we're a little bit late on National Preparedness this month, but better late than never. Uh, what I have here is a couple of uh, lithium-based power stations. We we'll just call them power stations. Uh, I believe that these units give you some advantages that some of the other units on the market that have AGM type batteries don't have. The lithium batteries, as many of you probably know, are much lighter. Um, as well, these lithium batteries, you know, a sealed AGM, you take that past 50% depth of discharge, you're going to kill the battery pretty quick. We see that and a few of the big box store brands that people are calling and they're wanting to replace their batteries because they take the stuff and run it till it's dead tailgating and they don't last very long. So um, what we have here on this table is this is our 1000 watt hour or if you th can think of it just as this is you're carrying around a kilowatt hour of power. Very versatile in its functions. Um, this is our half a kilowatt hour, 500 watt hour unit over here. Um, this one features a thousand watt pure sine wave inverter in it. And this one has a 500 watt pure sine wave inverter in it. Now these don't necessarily have got a solar panel here and I'll ch show you how you could charge that up. But this isn't necessarily a solar generator. Um, just very versatile in the charging functions comes with an ac adapter so you know you plug this in and you can see a lot of data across the front of this panel we're at 62 percent charge we're charging at 120 watts so at this rate you know it's it, the processor's figuring out how long it'll take to charge so it'll take this thing about two and a half hours to charge. Likewise, when you put a load on it, the Intelligent Load Center figures out what you're drawing out and it gives you an idea how long it will be till the unit dies. Uh, if you're just camping and you need some lights, uh, say no more, it's built in and you can see the output power. I'm gonna turn off some, let's see, turn that off. We turn this off let's see so this is drawing 14 watts so you've got 96 hours 99 hours you know it's computing how long uh, you have light for um, go ahead and turn the light off and we move over to the DC port now the DC ports uh, it comes with a 12 amp DC to DC adapter um, two male ends that will come with it. And, you know, function-wise from there, you can do all sorts of things with this unit. Uh, this um, we have here is a adapter that gives you, let me turn this on. Uh, you know, here's your adapter, here's your indicator light, this one, is powered up of course this one's covered up so yeah uh, there you can see the light on here um, likewise you know over here don't forget our lithium iron phosphate batteries for the price i think that you know we got a really good product on the market uh, a lot of people are raving about these batteries um, I, you know, I, I've done several vid videos on that, so I'm not going to go into that a whole lot. But 12 amp port, not necessarily something you want to try to jump start a car. But I mean, if you've got something that's dead, uh, if you plug in this port, you know, this battery's full. So that's why you see we've got this thing flashing on and off, and Tom too full so it's actually charging off of our lithium battery which would extend the runtime of your solar generator although you can't pull you know volts times amps equals watts so this is 12 amps at 12 volts 
And, you know, we're not going to be, uh, you can't pull a thousand watts out of this while you charge it from a hundred watt solar panel. I think I need to go ahead and make that disclosure. Any technical questions you may have before you think about purchasing one of these units, feel free to email me at Tony at HurricaneWindPower.com. I will put the link in the description below. Um, as you probably could figure out, once we, once we get these plugs, you know, this one, you wouldn't use an adapter with a light gauge wire like this, because this is, this is only 18 gauge wire. But from here, what we can do is we can put two MC4 connectors on here, and you could put a 100 watt solar panel on it. You could put 200 watts of solar on it because this DC to DC plug is rated for 12 amps. Um, this cable isn't. This is just something I brought out to show you guys today just to demonstrate the product. And lastly, let's see, well, we went over the DC function. Let me pop over here. You got three USBs and this micro USB port down here on, on, on here. And uh, let's see. No watts, don't have anything plugged into there. And of course, here is your AC. And here's your, here's your frequency. I'm going to pop through here real quick. See, there's frequency 50, but we have got a 110 volt inverter. That's for international. We, um, we're going to sell these in the uh, 200, uh, 240 volt international style as well. So we've got these universal plugs built into these. Uh, I'm just going to take a quick load. So, you know, same thing with the DC. We turn this thing on. Uh, you know, I'm j I just grabbed this up. I could have been more dramatic. And, you know, this is something I think about. People call me, they want something to put away to run their CPAP machine when the power goes out or their oxygen concentrator. So, you know, your pure sine wave inverter that's built into here is it, it, it's kind of a big deal. But, like... watts we're pulling and if you see there it's telling us that we're going to have 12 hours till the unit has died and uh, I think I've gone through all the features on there again you know if you don't have solar panels and you don't uh, have all these other accessories you know a simple, this is basically a simple computer charging port here. Additionally, I don't think I went over it, but we've got, we, we talked about the 12 amp mail to mail port. It also has two 5 amp DC ports that you can run like light, light loads off of. So that's like 60 or 70 watts. So if you had some light DC load, we've got two more uh, ports here. Very versatile product, um, hurricane emergency preparedness products, um, uncertain times. We've got, uh, we got you covered on your phone charging, your emergency medical equipment, light, light loads, communication devices, or if you just, uh, if we ever get to go to football games again, we could just take this thing out and tailgate with it. So. There's not a lot more to say about this. I'm not going to sensationalize it, but this at the price point we're going to offer this at compared to the big box store stuff that we replace batteries in, I think we kill it all day long. So, you know, check us out. I will get the links to the description of the product below. Until next time, Tony from Hurricane Wind Power. I'll catch you. I'll catch you next time.